Marla Tracy Kentoha, first year nursing student at Central Mindanao University. And today, I am going to demonstrate the procedure called assessing your peripheral pulses. There are nine different sites in where we can feel the pulses. The first one would be on the temporal, carotid, apical, brachial, femoral, popliteal, dorsalis pelvis, and the posterior tibial, and the last one would be on radial, in which we will perform the radial for today since it is the most common way of, I mean the site, most common site in where we can find So before we start, we're going to do an assessment, which is to assess the patient's peripheral pulses, and the possible nursing diagnosis are number one is for a fast irregular pulse the next one would be slow irregular pulse the materials needed for this procedure is gloves and more stuff so since we're ready we're now going to perform the procedure procedure number one is to check medical order or nursing care plan for frequency of pulse assessment the more frequent pulse measurement may be appropriate based on nursing judgment. So procedure number two is to perform hand hygiene. This is to prevent the risk of contamination. Procedure number three, identify the patient. This is to secure that the right patient and the right intervention is given. For procedure number four is to close the curtain if there is any and the door if possible to provide uh, comfort or to provide security for the patient and also to assess the capabilities of the patient and how he or she can assist you in doing the procedure. This is to maintain a good rapport and relationship between your patient. Procedure number five, put on gloves. This is to prevent contamination.
oven. The measurement is completed. You can remove the gloves. for